Hello everyone, this is Raheel, and I am back with a quick Photoshop tip. So as you can see, I've made a quick little collage over here with multiple layers, and I just wanted to explain a confusion between a method of uh, exporting a final file. So you can see that there's two ways to export. There's one through the actual export function, which gives you many options. Um, and then we got the save as function. So when we click on the save as function, then uh, it gives you two options. You can save to your cloud documents or save on your computer. Um, and then when you click save on your computer, it simply asks you which format that you want to save in. Uh, it gives you these formats, but most people, uh, if they want to export for the web or um, any other uh, readable format, then they would do PNG, JPEG, or maybe a TIFF. But Really what this feature was um, meant for is to save the document to a different location. Well, that's one way, that's the most common way of using this feature. So you click on the Photoshop file and then it saves it to wherever your location has specified. So when most people press uh, JPEG, let's say I want to save it to my desktop over here, and then I press save. Okay, and then it gives me the quality, which this is also present in the export file, uh, as long as you're doing a JPEG, of course. Then you press OK, and it appears in, oh yeah, it's done saving over here. Then you go on to the desktop, and you'll find your file right here. So as you can see, the file size is 2 megabytes. Now, what happens is when we press export, we pre let's, do quick, I mean, let's not do quick export as PNG, because we did not actually save it as a PNG when we exported it. So we press export as. So there's a lot more options here to export, and you can even include copyright and contact info through the metadata, which is the data inside of the file itself. We'll get to metadata afterwards. And when you press export, it gets to, let's say, let's go to the desktop page and you press save. Oh, let's rename it. And then it's saved over here. And then you can see when we click on get info, get info then we have our file size which is 2.1 megabytes on the disk and then we press on this file this one says 2.2 megabytes on disk very small difference a very very small difference and i can tell you why there's a small difference and why there even is a difference whatsoever so what the save as function is doing is since it's meant to essentially save the file um it's basically rerouting the, uh, the original save path to a different location as specified, hence the as. So when you click on save as, it actually copies all of this metadata, which is the data inside of the file. In our case, it is the layers. It copies all of this metadata and actually puts it in the file itself. And this can increase file sizes uh, tremendously if you are working on big projects. But if you go through the export, and it's better for uploading on the internet, because the internet compresses files quite a bit, and this would increase your upload times significantly due to the, the less amount of data inside of the file itself. These are very good for separate things. If you want to keep files locally, save as could also work. Basically, they just save you data in the end. If you have a very small file like this, I'd say it doesn't even matter at all because there's not going to be a lot of metadata. As you can see, there's only five layers and they're all images. None of them are actually modified whatsoever. They're just cropped and yeah, that's pretty much it. And that's pretty much the end. If you enjoyed, please give it a like and subscribe if you would like more of this content. See ya!